Hi, all signed up for the uh, DIGM11 um, WordPress class. Um, this first week, um, I'm gonna I make several videos, and so let's just look at the uh, class for a moment. Again, I'll, I'm, uh, this video is being made for making your first page right here, and so um, if you click on that it'll take you to uh, the assignment page and I have made a, uh, a document a word document that you could use to um, um, read of how I want you to uh, make your first page so in this class I'm going to set you up with an account um, that you could use to build a web page using the WordPress software in order to use the WordPress software you need to have a login and password and uh, an address and so I will email you those things um, this week. But for right now, um, I'm just going to cover some of the basics in the first page I want you to make. So for this first week, I just want you to make one simple page. Um, we can do that um, by logging in and making very simple things. If you click on the Word doc, it'll tell you what kind of things you want. I want you to add, um, oh, I have two of them open here. Let me close one. Okay, so hopefully. Um, um, we're just going to make a simple page with 10 things in it. We'll have a title on our page, uh, a title of the actual site page, uh, a subtitle, oh, a list of five items. Uh, we'll insert an image on our page. Uh, we'll copy and paste some text from Wikipedia. We'll add a video link from YouTube, a uh, video, and then we'll make some uh, links to an email, telephone, or web page link. Uh, we'll add some social media. And then we'll put a footer at the bottom of our page. So, um, you know, it seems like a lot, but it's it's quite simple. The program works kind of like Microsoft Word. It's a little complicated, but, I mean, if you practice and do things and maybe it takes you a couple times to do it, um, you know, just follow this video and uh, you can look up how to do some of those things also on the, uh, the, the WordPress page. So if you're a little bit confused on some of the things that I cover in the video, um, there's a help menu at the Word press.org and then there's a whole bunch of information in there about how to do things and so a lot of these things we, we will cover slowly as we go through the class about how to do themes and so on but for right now today I want you to um, just make a simple page uh, to log in we're gonna be using my server so um, I'm gonna set you up a folder you can use your own server you don't have to use my space I'm just giving you a blank WordPress uh, space that you could use to practice um, to do that um, my web page is uh, Raskoff Media Raskoff Media dot com uh, forward slash I'm gonna set you up with each with an account with your name on it your last name Remember, it's all going to be lowercase letters, so keep that in mind. And, and so my last name is Raskoff, of course. And then to log into the WordPress space, you notice I used a forward slash, and I put my last name in there. Then I hit a forward slash again as well, and I'm going to type in wp-addmin, and that will get you to the login page for the WordPress software. So again... Uh, it's raskoffmedia.com forward slash your last name forward slash wp dash admin and then when you hit return it should get you to the login page oh I'm already logged in let me log out whoosh oh let me log out oh let's see if we recognize I'm logged in so it should get you to a page that looks like this uh, if you don't get to this page you probably type something wrong so or I set your account up wrong one of the two is just email me and we'll figure out how to fix it uh, to to Login, uh, you can put in your name. I put in myself a, a login name. Again, I'm going to use your uh, your first name in here most likely for your, your username. Then in your password, uh, uh, I'll send you a password. You'll be able to change it once you are logged in. So I have a password for this account. And once you're logged in, it'll actually come to a screen. I know it didn't show you the screen, but it says wizard there. And it, it didn't come up here because I've already been logged in once. What I want you to do is say, don't use the wizard. There should be the button on the left side that says, don't use wizard. If you click on that, it should take you to this page. So I know it'll come up with a something that says wizard. Don't use the wizard. Say, don't use the wizard. And click on it, and it'll take you to this page right here. Once you're on this page... 
it looks like there's a lot to it. Um, you have some menu items that go along the left side here. We'll be learning about those. You have some menu items at the top up here. And then, of course, you have uh, uh, your administrator uh, login is here. If you want to change your password, the first option you'll do is go to here where it says Edit My Profile. Inside there, you'll be able to uh, change your password. Uh, if you want to change it to whatever you want, so you can't change your login, uh, um, you know, your last name here, because that's something I made there. But you can change the um, password there. So all I want you to do for this week is the first week, and I know it's a little rough, um, is just to make a simple page. To make a simple page, um, you can either use a post or a page. I'm going to make a page. And the post and pages are made basically the same. It's just the way that they are, are organized. And, you know, a, a, a blog is something that happens over time. And, a, you know, it's more of a linear thing. And a post is a blog, basically. Page is a little bit different. That's where you actually make a web page that has multiple pages to it and stuff. And you can make some very powerful... Um, web pages just with the WordPress software. In fact, my uh, company website is all done in, in WordPress. And if you look at my company's website, you'll see um, this whole site right here. With all There's a whole bunch of pages here. All this is done in WordPress. Um, it's probably not the best format to, to make a website in, but it's an easy way to manage. And you can see there's a whole bunch of pages. This looks more like a website and less like a blog, doesn't it? So again, this is all done in WordPress. So again, you can make anything inside of this program from a website to a blog. I'm just going to make a simple page, and all I want you to do is make a simple page following some of the things that I just listed in that Word document. To make a simple page, I'm just going to go to where it says Pages over here and say Add New, or you'll notice there's a new button up there where you could say New Pages as well, and it'll come up with a blank page. Again, the first title uh, I want you to do is put in your name. So you'll notice right here is you have a plus button up here that's adding new content. Um, there's some options over here on the right side, but uh, right now it just has this big text. This is add title. Now this is kind of a title of your entire site, and not necessarily for each page. But we're gonna add it to. I'm just gonna put in Jeff Raskoff's um, first web page, and then uh, next you'll notice it says starting writing or typing to choose a block and so what a block is is basically a, a square area where you put content on your web page if you look at any web page or any blog you know everything is kind of in boxes you know fake photos in a box text is in a box basically a block is a box of information so um we're gonna make a flower site so i'm gonna click on there and i'm gonna type in jeff raskoff's uh, flower page and so we're gonna make a page on flowers now the text is a little small and this is called a paragraph break and yours might not have defaulted to paragraph break but mine did uh, you'll notice if I highlight my text or whatever or put my cursor over what I just typed here you'll notice there's like a paragraph option over here you, you notice when I roll over it changes too you see that right there as well as you have left align, center align, right align, you got bold, italic, link, and then strike through. And so all those things are there for you to use. Um, if you don't want a paragraph break here, you can go and uh, change that. You can change that using this option right here. And what I want you to do is, is put it into the H2 um, tag. So to do that, I want this to be H2 instead of a paragraph tag. I'm going to click on this block right here, and I'm going to go to where it says heading. What is it? H's. H's or H1 is the largest one. H2 is the second, and it goes up to five. So I'm going to change this to a heading and it just says heading 2 automatically right there. Heading 1 is already being used so I'm going to change this to heading 2. What is heading 1? Well the title I believe is automatically heading 1 so that's why it's not giving me that option for heading 1. This, this one up here is heading 1. So you got some nice text on the page there. Um, I haven't changed the color. Oh, You could change it over here as you can see you can change the levels over here and so on. I don't know if there's, oh yeah, some advanced options to change the color and stuff. We won't do that. You, A lot of the formatting and the color changes and the fonts and things like that we'll be doing through something called the theme, 
Right now, let's not worry about the theme. I'm just going to change the way that uh, just put content on. What we're what I'm trying to explain to you is just how to put content on a page. We'll learn how to change the color and the theme later on, and so on. So next, after that, we're going to add a new block. It's underneath there, and in this block, we're going to put in some text. Uh, let's do another. Um, line of text another I'm gonna click on a little X I'm gonna do another heading and let's do this one h3 or even h4 and we're gonna put in uh, Jeff Raskoff's favorite flowers and that's what's our next text there and then next after that um, I'm going to put another one in there this time I'm gonna put a list okay a list of things so to put a list of things, you can say add block. You'll notice there's one that right in the middle. See the little X right here or a little plus right here. That's how you add things. Uh, there's a, a, a option that says list right there. So I'm going to click on there. And what are my favorite flowers? I'm going to say rose, tulip. Uh, what else do we want? Um, um, what's another flower? I can't even think of a flower. Daisy. Daisy? Yeah. And then uh, maybe a red flower. I don't know yellow flower and so uh, to stop the bullets so what a, what a list is is basically bullets or um, you could put numbers as well if you want you'd see there's options for bullets or numbers it just depends on you know how we might want to put numbers there so and then you can indent to have subs to that and so on and so there's options to change all that for right now if you want to add, end your um, listing kind of thing so um, my last one is yellow flower if you put your cursor after the last one in the list and you hit return twice it'll stop that and we can add something new so next thing I want to do and let, let me make sure I'm I got my list here I had a word document that had everything that we were making so we put our title in uh, we put uh, what the title of this page is my flower site we put some subtext in which was my favorite flowers and I'm on number four where I just put in five items um, but I, I just listed five flowers and next we're going to insert an image and make sure to include the alt tag and I'll explain that so next one I'm going to put in is, is actually a picture uh, now you, you there's two three ways to put in an image um, probably the easiest way is to download an image off the internet and put it onto your desktop and then upload it to the software that we're using, the WordPress software. Uh, you can also copy and paste from uh, a URL or another website, and we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But for today, um, I'm just going to download an image. So there's plenty of places you can steal images. A lot of things I do is I keep this running. It's It saves as you're going along. You'll notice it saves this program as you're run, going along. So you, you usually don't lose any things that you're working on in this software because it's in the browser. Again, we're working in WordPress in the browser. And you'll notice it says save, the little checkbox there. It saves as you're going along. So you, you, know, you don't really have to stress about saving, saving, saving. It's doing it automatically for you. Next again, I I'm going to leave this window open. I'm going to start a new window. Again, I, I use the Firefox browser primarily, and I think I wrote that in a couple of my postings here. So I'm going to start with a new uh, window here by going under File, New Window. And I'm just going to go to either Google or Flickr as another place. Flickr to uh, get, a pic get a picture. So I'm going to download a photo off the Internet to steal one. And I know stealing isn't the best. You should probably take your own pictures, and we'll talk about that next week. But right now, I'm going to go into Flower. I'm going to type in Flickr Flower. And then you'll notice here there is a license option right here. So you can choose if, do I have the rights to use this? I don't know. Under here, it tells you, you know, you can do uh, commercial use and modification allowed, which means um, most likely I might be able to use it on my site. You'd have to read whatever the photographer wrote as far as copyright, but that's what I'm going to choose. And it should give me a list of flowers right there. And I'm just going to choose kind of a small flower, not a very big one. Um, let's see. Um, I don't know. You can see size maybe um, when you, once you click on it. Um, oh, I like the red roses, huh? How about we click on that? Well, that's a good one. And once you find a picture that you oh, I don't like the black box around it. Uh oh, let me go back. I'm sorry, I didn't like that picture. Let me try this one. There we go. It doesn't have a black box around it. 
So once you find a picture that you think you might like, you'll notice, at least in Flickr, on, on Google, I usually right-click and download. There's an option for right-clicking and download images. Here, um, you'll notice I, there in Flickr, there's like a little download button in the lower right corner. If I click on that, it'll tell you different sizes. I'm going to kind of download a small one right here so it's not too big on my page. You can resize it inside of WordPress, but for right now, I'm going to download this small image right here. Now, it saves it automatically into my downloads folder, so I'm going to hit I'm going to just hit save. Don't I'm not going to open in preview. I don't want to open it in a program. I just want to put it on my computer. So I'm going to download it. Um, so since this is a Mac, it downloads onto my um, onto my downloads folder. So let me go to my downloads folder. I'm going to go to my downloads folder and drag that out onto my desktop. And I might change the name of it so it's not all crazy numbers and letters. Um, you just can change my name here to something. Uh oh. Well, let me change the name. Come on. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to change this to flower two because I already have one flower I was using earlier. So I'm going to say give that a name, and then I'm going to go back to my WordPress. So again, just like any application or any computer, you can have multiple programs running. My WordPress is still running in my browser. I'm just going to go back to my browser and uh, I don't need this anymore I might close this window and here I'm back to my WordPress so I've downloaded an image and I put it on my desktop now I need to put it into this uh, WordPress program to do that I'm going to uh, go down here again you have these little pluses almost everywhere here and I'm gonna add uh, my my flower um, there is like a little option here um, and I know it's hard to see that because this this making me scroll too much here but you'll notice down here at the very bottom here there's a little plus as well as there's like a little flower or a little image option right here if I click on add image it'll allow me to choose an image it brings up this image option right here and I'm gonna use the upload because I've downloaded it already off the internet put it on my desktop so I'm gonna upload it here how do I upload it here well I click on the upload button and I'm gonna go to my desktop right here's desktop choose my flower and say open and it'll put it on my computer right there. So once it's on my computer, I can then um, I can then start um, you know adding things to it. Uh, you'll notice you can resize it. You have these little these little blue kind of boxes there. It has a caption if you want to put a caption underneath there. This is yellow flower. We'll call it yellow flower. And then, um, so there's a little, a little caption underneath your image if you put it in there. Also, uh, I there is alternative text over here. So alternative text is rather important to um, screen readers or, or other things as you are working inside of WordPress. Um, so, you, you know, you should give each and every image an alternative text. And so after you have your image selected, you'll see it says alternative text over here on the right side. And what is what you should include in your alternative text is kind of a description of what the flower is. So uh, maybe this is a yellow flower, and maybe I'm trying to sell it, and I might say for sale. How about that? I'm a marketing person, and I kind of do a lot of, hey, putting descriptions in there of what I want them to do with this image. I want them to buy it. I don't know. Uh, next, if I want, I can add some text, and I, I struggle with this because this is kind of a new version of, of WordPress, so I, I kind of struggle with you know making things work with this. And what I mean by it is it's, it's a little bit different version of WordPress in that this, this whole block thing that you see here, add block, add block, is something that's kind of rather new to me, and I, I've been um, struggling with being able to format it the way that I used to be able to format things before, but I'm going to try again. What I really want to do is is add some text text that's next to this image over here so that there's text wrapping around it and so to do that I'm going to go and um, I'm gonna click up here at the top where this little plus is I think this is how it might be easy and what I want to do is I want to add a paragraph and basically what a paragraph is is, is basically a block of text and so I'm going to click uh, again sort of up here of this block right here and let me see if I can do this is this gonna work and I'm gonna say add paragraph and it puts it up there and I'm going to type in some text or I can copy and paste if you want from another website so I'm going to try and put this in right now uh, how I'm going to put in the paragraph is by um, uh, going to Wikipedia let's go on Wikipedia again just like any other uh, browser I can open a new window I'm going to go to the very up top here and I say file new window 
and I'm going to type in uh, Wikipedia. Um, and once it's in Wikipedia, I'm going to type in flower. And then I'm going to uh, copy kind of some of this text, not all of it. I'm just going to copy maybe a few lines up here, some of these text. So again, highlight things you can, just like you would in a Microsoft Word. You can use your mouse. I left click on it and I drag my cursor over that so I can select some text. Then I can hit Command C on the keyboard. Uh, I'm on a Mac. Of course, if you're using a Windows, you would use Control C to copy. Or you can right click as well and say copy. And then I'm going to go back to my WordPress and I'm going to paste my text there. You can right click and say paste as well. And one of the things you'll notice it actually has text that kind of um, comes with these links here. You'll notice the links from there. In the older version, I was able to paste without the links, and I haven't found that how to do that yet with this version. It's probably a setting that I need to adjust where it'll paste plain text just like in Microsoft Word you have a, a paste special as well right when, when you copy and paste from Microsoft to Microsoft Word you can use paste special which doesn't paste the links and things like that um, they used to have that here I just don't know where it's at I'll, well, I'll have to find out now it doesn't look like my text is wrapping it's kind of text that's above mostly because I clicked the plus that was above the photo before so I have to try and figure out how to get these two together somehow and um, I really don't know. I'm going to try and drag. You'll notice when I put my cursor next to some of these blocks over here, you'll see some arrows that point up, and then there's a middle kind of a hand, and then there's an arrow that points down. Um, basically what this is is how to move the square. Each block is kind of a square of content on your page. And so if I want, I can move it up, I can move it down, but I'm going to actually try and, and squeeze it in there. I think I can do that. That's what I'm going to try. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to grab the hand and I'm going to drag it next to my photo here and release my mouse. No, nope, that didn't work. Okay, well, it was a good try. Um, I was able to do it earlier to get my text wrapped around here, but it doesn't seem to do that. So if you don't get your text wrapped around, it's okay. I don't know. I... I I, I'm gonna have to. I did get it earlier, being able to do that. I'm gonna move it underneath there using the arrows, and maybe try and down here. No. Um. Maybe if I I put it underneath, I click on the picture, and there's like these little boxes here for options. Maybe if I say left align. Oh, that worked. Okay. So yeah, that the alignment seems to work. I put the text underneath by using the arrows underneath the photo. Then after I went and I grab the, the actual photo and there's some options here it says left align center right and so on so I click the left align and, and the text went up next to it so that's sort of how I believe we could wrap text around an image so that looks pretty good um, if you want to see what your page looks like so far you can actually go over here to where there's a preview option in the upper corner over here and if you hit the preview button it'll go and it'll show you what it is now this is a plain blog we don't have any theme or anything attached to this what well, theme will be color and font and stuff right now we're just making black and white you got your title you got your first page right here you got your list you got your text and you got some some text around it so whenever you hit that preview it also opens in a new window you'll notice that I have two tabs now up here at the top so um, if you want to go back and keep working, you can actually close this one and it should go back to um, your editing. So be, be aware that when you hit the preview button to preview your page, it opens in a new tab, at least in Firefox here. I don't know about the other browsers. And then I can close it. Okay. So let's add a uh, few more things. We gotta, um, we're going to put a video in there kind of quickly here. So I'm going to go kind of... I want to um I want to make sure my cursor is kind of flashing in this box here, um, and I'm going to put a, a another box underneath this. Now there's no option to put a box under here, so how I can put a box is to go up here to the little plus in the upper corner here where it says add block, and so I'm going to click on the add block, and it's going to ask me um what I want. Now I could say YouTube, but I'm actually going to say paragraph for this moment right now. Um, I'm going to say paragraph. So I'm going to add a paragraph down here. And once I add a paragraph, you notice it puts a box down here with the cursor flashing underneath there. And in this case, I'm going to add a YouTube um, video to this. To add a YouTube video, again, you can make a new window. I'm in Firefox again. I'm going to go to the very upper corner here and say new window. And I'm going to type in 
YouTube, YouTube, and um, we're gonna go and find a video. I'm gonna find a video of uh, um, a flower opening, flower time lapse. I'm gonna use time lapse. So we wanna find kind of a video of time lapse uh, of videos kind of opening up. So uh, once I find one, so let's say this one right here, um, it's not too long, it's only three minutes or so. I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna show me the video and you can see it and you can watch it and say, oh yeah, I like this video. If you like that video, you can then go and if I want to put this on my web page from uh, YouTube, you'll notice in the lower right corner here under the video, um, there is an option that says share right here. So if I click on the share option right there, it will actually give me a way to link and you'll notice there is one that says um, copy right here. So I'm going to copy the address. This is the actual address to the video. And so I'm going to copy that address. And I'm going to go back to my WordPress here. And again, I still have my cursor flashing down here at the very bottom. So again, I jump back to my WordPress software after I copied. And I can right click in there and say paste or control V or command V, no matter how you paste on your computer. I'm going to paste that in there. And it should automatically paste the video in there. And you can see there's a video that it'll automatically show up in the software here. It's pulling the video right from YouTube. You can write a little caption underneath there if you want. This is a time lapse of flower. And then um, um, there, that's how you add a video, very simple. Now if I put my cursor underneath the video, you'll notice I still have my plus show up if uh, that's adding another paragraph right there. So I'm gonna add another paragraph there. And so um, you'll notice there is a plus there, there. So so let's add mo some you know common links. So what are some of the common links? Well, I might have an email link to somebody, or maybe if I want to have somebody's telephone number. If somebody's viewing this on a on a cell phone, they can click the um, the telephone number and it'll automatically dial and so on. So there's a whole bunch of ways here. So in this case, I'm going to add an email link so um, maybe we type in some text that says email link like link link um, email me I don't know whatever so uh, I'm gonna highlight that email link and I'm gonna go once I highlight some text on there you'll notice you have your options here there's an option window that kinda pops up and you'll notice there's one that looks like kind of like a chain link or something like that. It's called link right there. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to type in my uh, text for a link. Now to email somebody on uh, um, on a web page, um, we use the, the, the code mail2, M-A-I-L-T-O, colon, and then the name of the email address of the person. So I'm going to type in M-A-I-L-T-O colon and then the person's email address in there and when you're done there's like a little arrow that clicks here and you can say link okay so that one's done uh, so mail to and then whatever the email list and hit link and I'm gonna hit return after that and then let's do a telephone so maybe we put in some text so I hit return after that so that my cursor went down to another line and then let's do another one. Let's say, uh, call me, and then maybe put the number down if you want. And then I can highlight that text, and there's again a link right here. Now to do the, the telephone, if you want it to automatically dial if somebody clicks on it with their cell phone, you're gonna need to do the T-E-L colon, and then the person's phone number. Um, so again, T-E-L colon and the person's phone number, and then you hit apply. So that's how, that's how easy it is to do telephone number. And then the last one, let's do a link to outside on the internet. So maybe we want them to go to the flower site of Wikipedia, or maybe we want to go to 800 flowers, or maybe we just want them to go to West Valley, which has lots of nice flowers there anyways. So let's go, go, go to West Valley web site and so we want to link to a, a separate website that's outside so I'm going to highlight that text there again the same link option this time when we make a link we're going to do an um, HTTP is the protocol for a web link so we type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www 
www.westvalley.edu. And hopefully that works. I know there's an S in there, and you might want to put the S in there, HTTPS for secure. Maybe that will work as well. So either way, I think the S or no S would work as well. And then hit the little apply there. There we go. So that one's in there. So now we have one, two, three different types of links that we just learned. Uh, the next one that we want to do is add um, social media, I believe. Is that what I had in my, my list here? So we insert links here. And then, oh, add social media. Um, I, you know, you kind of need to know the social media that you want to link to. Um, I might just go and search. Um, let's go and search Google. How about we do, um, let's do my company's, um, 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 Facebook page. So how about we put on Zircon, Zircon Facebook page. And so, oh, we're just getting Facebook. Uh, what is my, this, that's not it, is that it? Yeah, it is this. Okay, so here's my company page, so I'm going to highlight my address up there. And then let's, uh, uh, so maybe you have a social media, I don't know, whatever so social media you want, or just link to freaking any social media you want. Uh, this time in the, the little plus over here, um, we're going to add, uh, there is a social media option here, sort of down at the bottom here, where it's under embeds, and there's one that says embed Facebook right here. Do you see that? Uh, you can do your Instagram. Oh, there's a WordPress. Hey, maybe embed somebody else's uh, uh, blog into your blog. I don't know. And so I'm going to use Facebook right here, and it's going to ask me the URL, and I'm going to copy my company's URL in here, and I'm going to say embed, and it should uh, put that in there. Hopefully it works. Oh, Preview is unavailable in this editor. That's okay. Um, we can write a caption. Mm -hmm. And so we have that in there. And then um, uh, last one, let's just put in a footer. So we have that in there. So just try any kind of social media. I don't really know. Just try one of them. And then the last one is add a block right here. We're just going to put in a footer. This is not like the official footer. I'm just going to put in a paragraph here. There, a lot of themes will have an official footer, and we'll talk about that. But uh, the reason why I wanted to add the footer in here, just so you can see how to add a copyright symbol. Uh, at least on the Mac, it's option G adds the copyright symbol. Most footers have some kind of copyright information on the bottom of their website. If you don't see that, you can actually, actually if you don't have a Mac and use option G, you can just go to the internet. It's quite easy just to go to Google and type in copyright symbol. There you go. And you can just go and copy that symbol right there and copy it and then go back to your blog. And then you can paste it right in there. See, you can just copy and paste it right in there. And then put your name in there. And then the year, and you will be good and copyrighted all the way up until there. So that's sort of how um, you would put some basic things together. So after you've completed all this, and you're like, wow, I just put a whole bunch of things together and and, and WordPress and look at all these things. I got pictures, I got text, and I did this all in woo, like 20 minutes. Wow, I know I did this rather fast. You can replay the video a couple times. But in this case, it's already been saved. You'll notice a little checkbox here says saved. And in order to see it and do anything, though, you do have to publish it. You can preview, but the preview doesn't publish. In order for people to see it live, online, it needs to be published. And hence, there's a big blue box up here that says publish. I'm going to hit the publish button, and it's going to say, do you want it to be public? I'm going to say yes. I want it to be public. And I'm going to say publish. And it's going to go and publish it. Where is the URL? Well, there's a page address right here. You can view the page and you can copy the link. This is what I want you to turn into Canvas is the actual copy link. So if you copy that link right there, you can then go and post it in. So there is an assignment page inside of Canvas. You might want to test it first, maybe open it up first. Maybe go to make a new window and paste it in there and see, hey, is this going to look right? 
Yeah, well, there you go. You got your title, you got your title of the page, you got your flowers, you got your list of flowers, you got your photo, you got your text we copied from Wikipedia, we got our video playing right from YouTube, we have our links to email me, to call me, to go to West Valley. Let's make sure the West Valley link works. Uh, it's going, it says it's going, it's just slow. Yeah, it will work. And then, oh, the Facebook one didn't work. That didn't work at all. My social media didn't work. I don't know why. Maybe I didn't copy it properly. But see if you can get a social media in there. At least get a link to some kind of social media. Then we have our, our footer in there. So again, um, try all these options here. Again, copy this address. And what you want to do is there should be a submit option. You can just submit that URL to there and uh, next week so this is all we want you to do the first week next week we'll move on to themes and doing a lot more advanced things but that's how i want you to get started